So this is the highly venomous twig snake, also called the vine snake or the southern twig snake. And as you can see, it's got a super, super cryptic camouflage. The head, super pointed, got the typical keyhole pupil. And the camouflage of these snakes is absolutely phenomenal. They spend most of their times in the trees and the shrubs, the dense canopy, hunting things like chameleons, tree agamas, and particularly other snakes, including the Eastern Natal green snake, the spotted bush snake, and any other little arboreal snakes that it can manage to trap down and consume. They have a potently toxic hemotoxic venom, which unfortunately causes your blood to thin, causing excessive blood loss, and you'll stop bleeding out your ears, your eyes, your nose, and any sort of open orifices out of your body. A really, really potent toxic snake, although shy, Unfortunately, we, we see very few, if any, bites from these snakes. There is no antivenom for the snake, so the only successful treatment for a twig snake bite is to receive immediate medical attention, and that would be in the form of blood transfusions until the body can be stabilized, the red blood cell count increases, and then you're pretty much good to go. But the best advice for a twig snake, if you ever see one of these guys, leave him alone, and you'll be sure to be out of harm's way. If I zoom in here, you'll see it's not quite doing it, but a typical threat display of the twig snake will actually inflate its throat, puff it up nice and big like a balloon, and then that serves as a warning sign. This snake means business.